Okay, let's have a look at these uh, measurement questions. This is uh, the shape is called the Gothic arch. Um, it's not regular shape. So how do we find the exact area of this shape? So we have to separate this shape into some regular shape, like for example, triangles or area of sectors and uh, separate them. And then after that, put them together to find this area. So how do we do this? So what I see right now, I see uh, at the shape is uh, make with some sectors. For example, these sectors, like this one, the red, you can see sectors. But you can see if I do this sector, I still have another part uncovered. So then if I do the other sectors, like this part, the green ones, and it seems like all the arc part is covered, but I have problems because I, you can see the triangle in the middle, I actually did it twice. I have red and the green all covered. So but that problem is easy to solve. I can easily minus one of the triangle, and then I can just find this area. I have the green and I have the red, and the middle part, I have both green and the red, I just need minus ones. So that's it. So let's have a look, how do we find the area of the triangle then? Area of triangle is half base times height. The triangle is equal to triangle, all sides is four. So if I draw the height in the middle, then divide the whole triangle exactly into half. So this side become two, and the other side was four before. So we can using the Pythagoras theorem to find in the height then we can find the area of triangles. So let's start. So the question is, so first one, let's find the height of the triangles. So we do Pythagoras. Okay, so the, um, we have four squared is equals to H squared plus two squared. So therefore, my h square is equals to 4 square minus 2 square, which equals to 12. Therefore, my h is equal to square root 12, which is also equals to 2 root 3. Then using the h, I can find the area of triangle. So area of triangle would be equals to half base, base is 4, times a height, which is 2 root 3. So which give me cancel the two, which gives us four root three. So that's the area of triangle. And then the area of sectors equals to pi r squared times three hundred uh, thirty sixty degrees over 360 degrees, which equals to pi times four square times one six. So that's the area of sectors, which equals to 16 pi on 6. So therefore, the total area will be equals to 2 of the area of sectors, which is that minus 1 area of triangles. So which gives us, I cancel that, which 16 pi on 3 minus 4 root 3. That's the answer, or if you want to make it even more simple, make the same denominator, which equals to 16 pi minus 12 root 3 on 3.